My name is Camille Kiernan. Cheyenne Dorosky is my daughter and she has had Lyme symptoms since she was three years old and she was diagnosed at eight years old with chronic Lyme disease, late stage. Basically, uh, days are, revolve around Cheyenne. Whether she's going to get up that day, whether she's going to have tutoring, whether she's going to have a headache, whether she was up all night, whether she's going to have pain, is she strong enough to eat today, you know, is the medicine going to make her sick. Um, we can't do things like we used to do. We used to do a lot of outdoors activities. She used to be very active. You know, we can't go to the beach. We can't really do much of anything. Good job yesterday, you belly. I'm Nancy Gassert, and I had symptoms back in 1983, but nobody was quite sure what was going on. And it wasn't until 1990 when they discovered that I did have Lyme disease. Uh, so it went from there to where I am, you know, now. It's like Dr. Borscano told me, he said, um, you had this eight years before we knew what it was. And so it took its toll on my body. But anybody that's long term, it's very rare that you get over it. It's just you deal with it. I have no feeling in my hands anymore at all and none in my legs. And uh, that's all part of the disease. It was uh, 2013 in the spring that my father became ill that we noticed, which we didn't think was seriously, and it turned out to be babesiosis. Uh, it was a six to eight week process that he was treated in three different facilities and, uh, you know, ELI, nursing home, and then Stony Brook. You know, he used to uh, bartend a little, you know, he did a little of this just to keep busy, you know, typical retired guy, but he had to keep busy, you know. So to see him not able to do anything was tough. It attacked his white and red blood cells and, uh, you know, it, it killed him. What would you say to another little girl who um, has Lyme disease? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I'd be happy that they knew. Yeah, that was a big step for us to, to get proper diagnosis. That was uh, that was the best part of it all, sadly to say. It was really, truly, finally knowing what was wrong. Late stage Lyme, there's no cure. I mean, the bottom line is there's no cure. You get on medication and you, you hope for the best and you do the best you can. Aw, she's a sweet girl. It completely changes your life because you can't do things that you used to do the same old way. You have to find different ways to do it because you can't walk the way you used to. My joints were starting to go. I've had a hip, two hips done and a knee. My, my biggest concern even to this day is that they haven't done enough research and they're not doing enough to help people and it's so predominant here on Long Island and I'm sure on the East Coast and up, you know, north. Uh, why are they not doing more for a Lyme's, Lyme's disease? I, I just, I don't understand it. 